As of 2018, there are less than 40 active women's colleges in the United States. At the turn of the 21st century, there have been great concerns about the relevancy, necessity, and even the legality of women's colleges. But that shouldn't put aside the facts. Graduates from women's colleges comprise more than 20% of women in Congress and 30% of rising women in corporate America. Additionally, almost 81% continue their education by pursuing a higher degree. As a student at a traditionally women's college, I wanted to analyze the impact of a women's college education, especially after the first years of graduation when alums have entered the workforce with a degree or have continued their education. I interviewed three Agnes Scott alums who are tackling their ways through the workforce and academia. Hi, my name is Victoria Forbes. I am a 2016 graduate and I studied neuroscience with minors in uh, business management and music. Shalene Wallington, class of... Yeah, that's right. 2016. Hi, I'm Tyler Bryant, class of 2016, go Muses, and I graduated with a degree in economics organizational management. I am currently at my job that I've been at for the past two years, and I'm a scheduling coordinator at a court reporting firm in Midtown, Georgia. Currently right now, I'm a senior consultant at my firm. Um, no, I am. The work that I'm doing, I truly enjoy it. I don't know if this will be something that I will continue to do um, for my entire career, but right now I definitely think that I'm getting really great experience, I'm meeting a lot of really good people, and I'm living in a city that I really love, so it works for right now. Um, I've been at my current job for the past two years, mm -hmm. and um, I've heard from multiple people that it's good to kind of get two years of experience at one place before you look at moving on or interviewing at other companies, and I actually have submitted um, an application for a new job. So um, I am open to new opportunities, but um, if the opportunity presents itself to move up within my company, I would also consider that. So I've been currently looking at going back to school to get my MBA, and um, that's what I feel like I should be doing, but I also am really passionate about public health. Mm -hmm. So I've been thinking about um, looking into master's programs for public health as well. Yes, I have considered um, going back to school, graduate school, for um, an MBA. I haven't totally decided to do that yet. Um, I'm just more deciding on whether or not I want to spend the time and money to do that, or you know how far I can stretch my bachelor's degree and see where that can get me. Mm -hmm. Currently, it does not, okay. um, so that would be another reason why I would be looking at getting a, a new job. If it came down to having to get an additional job to pay for school, I would not consider it. My current job is very demanding, and it's very time-consuming, and it can be stressful at times, so um, the little bit of time that I have outside of work, I like to kind of keep it to myself, and I wouldn't really want to spend it um, studying or you know, doing homework or reading for an academic course. The firm I work for does do tuition reimbursement, mm -hmm. which, where they help with partial tuition uh, going back to get any, you know, next level higher education degree that applies to the work that you're doing. So mm -hmm. MBA would definitely fall under that realm. However, after getting your degree, you have to commit to working to the company for a certain amount of years mm -hmm. before you're or you have to, to pay the tuition that they helped you with back before leaving. So hopefully scholarship will be available. I know there's a lot of really great grants, especially for people who are studying public health. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, if I had to think about it now, I would say that I would probably have to do loans um, to pay for my next degree. Mm -hmm. The goal right now is to get out of that. Mm -hmm. What exactly that means. Mm -hmm. um, for the time being, you're going to take at least a year off from school again. That's understandable. Um, see what happens after that. Yeah. 
Um, I started out as a biology major and I had every intention of going to PA school. Mm. Um, I was actually pre-med and then decided to go pre-PA. Um, and then a couple of science classes and decided mm, maybe, you know, I'm interested in science, but maybe I don't want to do this as a career. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up taking a couple of business classes my junior year on accident mm -hmm. um, just because some of my major courses were not available and totally fell in love with them. Um, and then through some of my leadership roles here at Agnes Scott as well, I realized that I, I kind of liked more of like a managing role. Mm -hmm. I ended up declaring a minor in business management my junior year and, and finished that out. People really underestimate how hard of a transition that is mm -hmm. when you get out. When I was applying for grad school, I spoke to my professors and friends was like, yeah, sure, no problem, we'll write up your recommendation. Mm -hmm. And I was like a year out, which doesn't always happen. Like that. So there was still that support mm -hmm. um, just from like the community as a whole. Um, the rigor of academic activity at Agnes is definitely um, beyond what a lot of other schools are offering. So I came in so prepared. Oh. And yeah, there's definitely ways that I feel like Agnes almost over prepares you in that community, I think is really important. Mm -hmm. So I got my degree in something that I'm not using right now. Mm -hmm. And so I was, in school you think, you know, I need to do really well in all these classes because this is going to apply directly to what I'm doing every day. If, if whether it's, for some people it is, but in the business that I'm in, um, it was a lot of soft skills that Agnes gave me that I didn't think, I didn't think I had, honestly. I didn't, I didn't think about it that way. I was thinking, you know, I need to, really hone in on these business management skills and, and those things helped me. Uh, shout out to Professor Will, shout out to Professor Savadney um, for help for those classes that I took with them. But honestly, it was Agnes, just the culture here and um, really empowering each and every one of us to be leaders, to speak up when we feel like something isn't right, mm -hmm. to work really, really hard because standing alongside um, Scotties who are literally brilliant, has just always pushed me to, to be better. And so I've taken that back to my job um, and just always wanting to show up and be present and um, putting my best foot forward and also just being a leader and um, advocating for women, um, diverse groups of individuals, LGBTQ, IQ, A, uh, people, just because I feel like Agnes has instilled that in me. And so just, the person that I've grown to become based off of the things that I experienced at this place um, has naturally transferred over to um, the work that I do every day. Mm -hmm.